Okay. Oh my god, look at those snails. Notice they use that for production. Snails not eating the root snails, there's some small snails cruising the roots. But these big snails, if these were root eaters, they would be all over the roots. They wouldn't be cruising the bottom of the raft. Here again, we're talking understanding the system. And even if you don't understand the system, if you understand how systems work, you can look at this and figure it out. I'm looking at this and I'm going, you know what? There's no big snails on the roots. If they were root eaters, the big ones would be on the roots. You know what the big ones are doing? They're cruising around on the bottom of the raft. In addition to that, I can see little tracks on the bottom of the raft that just kind of, just very faint, to where the snail have moved along and eaten the algae. So just by understanding systems, and knowing how to think in terms of systems, even though I don't have any idea what's going on here, you can figure out what's going on. The snails are algae eaters. They're safe here. It's not a good idea because they're, uh, you know, you want to be careful. We've got these snails in this system now. You know, they're a harmless snail. But not all snails are harmless. Okay, so I wanted you to see the root mass on that taro because it's decreased and also because I'm going to have to remove it to get that pot out of there without breaking the raft in half. Yeah, it's too big. Too big to pull out through the hole. Okay. So there's the root mass on that taro. Interesting how the roots are the same color as the plant. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're just we're just gonna put that down on the spouting table here so people can look at it. Right here. Please don't put that on the spouting table. Oh crap. We'll are you in <laughs> It's going to just dry it off with a rag, babe. It's going to go back in the aquaponics.